about, I would guess, at least 50 people here. It's fans come out here you guys some waiting since 4:30. uh our travel plans probably didn't help matters at all but why come out at all hey they showed up all season so will i i paid for it all season and i i'm a believer so. how proud are you of uh the team obviously didn't win the kelly cup but uh did they did they uh show the uh the community proud Absolutely, absolutely. Look how many teams didn't even get this far. You know, we have a great team, great group of guys. I'm, I'm committed to them because they're committed to us. All right, Joanne, uh, the flag in tow, 50 people here at least. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a Sunday night in, in southwest Michigan. It's sunny. Why are you here? Just to tell the team thank you and that we support them. Talk about uh, the season. Obviously, not every team. You know, 38 years here, there's been three championship teams. How important, though, it, it's it, you can tell the relationship between the fans and the uh, and the team. It's more than winning championships. There's a camaraderie between the fans and the team, and I think each year it's different. But this year, it seems very special. It's Sam, losing, never easy. Obviously, one team can always win, but uh, what does it mean to uh, come back here to uh, to Wing Stadium and have 50 or so people uh, kind of thank you for the season? It's, you know what, it's nice. I mean, like I said, there's never, there's never, there's never a good, <laughs> there's never a good way to lose, but you know what, we, uh, we played as hard as we could, you know, and they beat us, and uh, they were the better team a couple nights. Um, you know, and to have the fans here when we roll in, it's always nice to know that you're appreciated, and, and in fact, they, uh, they came out and supported us uh, all year, and then after the season, it's, uh, it's really special. Corey, uh, you get off a bus, you know, you do an all-day travel thing, and you get to Kalamazoo, and what's 50 people or so uh, here waiting to greet you. What does that mean for you as a player? Uh, it means a lot. It meant a lot for my family to be there, and. Uh, you know, if they weren't there, they probably would have been one of the 50 people, and uh, those are 50 faces that we see all the time, and so that means a lot to all of us. You, you battle out there, you see the K-Wing jerseys there, and obviously you guys want to win championships, but it doesn't take away from what you guys were able to accomplish this year. Yeah, no, it's been great. The last two years have been really good runs, and uh, of course it's still real bittersweet, but uh, uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the season, uh, sitting back here over the weeks, uh, uh, what we've accomplished over the last two years, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, there's maybe one or two other teams that have, uh, have done that well, and uh, you got to reflect on that and keep that in mind. I mean, the competitive part of you is, is disappointed and, and, and bitter about it, but... Uh, but uh, we really did uh, accomplish a lot. I know it's soon after, so you may not have an answer for this, but 17 years as a pro, is there an 18th? Um, yeah, I would definitely say that there's uh, I, I, th there's no way I've decided that that's it. And uh, opportunity uh, has to be there, and, and uh, if it is, then, uh, then I'm very interested in, uh, in an 18th. 50 fans or so, Nick, uh, meet the bus, so I'm actually waiting from 4.30, team bus gets in about 7 o'clock. What does that mean to uh, to you and as well as the players? Well, it just speaks volumes for the fan base we have here in Kalamazoo. You know, they, they obviously support us very well here, and um, you know, those 50 people who take the time out of their day to come see us, uh, you know, obviously we're, we're disappointed still, and it's still pretty fresh and new that we've lost and our season's over, but um, to see them come in uh, cheering and waving flags for us as we pull in on the bus uh, uh, certainly puts a smile on our face after a long day of travel. You know, you look online right now um, from people down in South Florida right now. They're winning. They just won the Eastern Conference Championship. They took time out to uh, post on our Facebook the class act the K-Wings organization is as far as how you guys handled the loss, how you guys uh, kind of respected them and kind of before you guys left the ice. What does that mean for, mean for you that 
you know, you talk about bringing in players that have that quality, but to see it in the most, you know, toughest of circumstances kind of shows uh, the recruiting paid off. Well, uh, I, I mean, absolutely. I wouldn't expect anything less from our guys. You know, you know, we we never gave up. Uh, we left everything out there on the ice on uh, Saturday night, and uh, we, we battled as hard as we could and obviously came up short and we're disappointed with that part of it. But, you know, I knew our guys would handle themselves like uh, professionals and uh, very proud of the group. And, uh, you know, there are a bunch of guys that, uh, you know, one of the closer-knit groups we've had here in Kalamazoo for a long time. Come for the party, stay for the game. Catch the action with the K-Wing.